Hey guys, I'm going to do a little experiment that I, I talked about a little bit in a previous video. Um, even though it's not as important to me now because I've seen the Twitch tips on my main playing queue. But this is what I did. Well, first of all, I have my SL10 and my R12. These two butts happen to be about as identical as any I've ever seen. Weight and balance point and all that. They're pretty darn close. Um, the SL10 feels a little bit skinny. But again, they weigh and balance the same. Of course, the joints the same. I went to the Jacoby site and I bought two brand new of their EH Ultra Pro shafts. And they turn out they're pretty darn close to identical as well. One of them is like a tenth of an ounce heavier. I don't remember which one it is. No, not even a tenth of an ounce. A hundred, one hundredth of an ounce heavier. Okay, so I took those two shafts into my local billiard supply store and I had to put a LePro tip on one and a triangle tip on the other. He's been doing this for a long time, does a better job of it than me. Then I got them home and I rounded them off exactly the same with my Willards. So these, these two tips, other than being different kinds of tips, is identical as I can make them. Now, I wanted to compare how these tips perform with me shooting. And so that's what, that's what I did. I did this on Sunday, <coughs> and the, the results were, there was a pretty dramatic difference on Sunday. I've done it here today. There has, There's still a difference, but not nearly as much. And it, I don't think that what day of the week it is should be a variable in the various equations that go into how a tip performs and things like that. You know, it did rain a lot today. I think humidity probably should be a variable in there. See, that's the thing about, about pool is pool is not played on a spreadsheet or a PowerPoint presentation. It's not scribbled onto a bar napkin. It's, it's on the pool team. And so that's what I am doing is I'm just going to shoot some, to me, simple draw shots and see if I can tell a difference. That's what I did Sunday. That's what I'm going to do right now. You know, I'm not trying to get power draw or anything like that. It's just like a normal shot. It's a normal shot. Will there be a difference with just a normal shot? And as it turns out, there was. So this is this is the LePro. I can tell it's a LePro tip because of it's a brown tip. The triangle is much more of like a grayish green. I think the actual leather is probably identical. It's the chemicals they use in the manufacturing process. That's almost certainly a variable that determines how I tip plates. So all I did was I get on these shots, setting the object ball on the, on the same spot and the cue ball on the same spot. I just shoot them just with some draw. Again, not not monster power draw, just normal draw, what I would consider to be normal draw. Using the town pyro chalk on all of it. This is with the uh, the triangle tip. Then I do the exact same thing. I forget the fact that I missed the shot. No, we won't forget the fact that I missed the shot. I'll shoot it again. Because me missing the shot means that the cue ball didn't come off the, at the same angle. Let's try this again, David. Okay, so I did this. <clears throat> I did this about 10, 10 or 15 times with each cue the other day. And ended up to where there's zero, zero doubt in my mind that I got more of this normal kind of draw with the triangle tip it was actually i'd say it was about a diamond about a diamond difference in average with this tip versus that lapro i can't make any shots so that and that surprised me that there was that big of a difference and i think for some reason i was expecting the lapro tip to give me more draw. 
there's like a hardness chart or something out on the internet and the pro tip tip is not quite as hard as the triangle they're both closed they're like medium tips or whatever so i was thinking well this is a slightly softer tip on this the pro so maybe i'll get more draw and and that was not the case i was not getting more draw i was getting getting less draw you know, even when I felt like I hit it good and solid and all that, I wasn't getting as much. And, you know, a softer tip, I, I, I know I've talked before about, wait, when the tip hits the cue ball, there's all kinds of stuff that happens. I think the technical term I used is physics physics shit happens when the tip hits the cue ball. Things start to vibrate up there. The shaft's going to deflect a little bit, depending on how whippy or how stiff it is. The tip's going to compress, depending on how hard it is. Stuff's going to happen back here. You're going to have all this vibration and stuff. Your arm's going to do something different, feel some vibration or whatever. There's all kinds of stuff that happens the moment that tip hits the cue ball. And one of the, one of the ways that I've always, I guess, defined a good hitting cue is that it's more efficient. All that physics, physics shit that's happening is happening more quickly. And I thought with a softer tip that it hits the cue ball, it starts to compress. It compresses more than a harder tip and get, that gives it more surface area in contact with the cue ball. For that instant that they're in contact, and that's what I guess I kind of thought might give me more draw. When I did this on Sunday, and the, you know, slightly harder tip gave me significantly better draw, I kind of had to rethink that a little bit. It, the chemical used in the manufacturing process is kind of what I'm going with right now. I don't remember what they are. One is tanned with some chemical, <clears throat> And one is canned with some, or tanned with something else. And I don't know which one is which or what the difference is. But I believe that's the difference that's going on with me right now. So the, this is back to the to the triangle. I'm really trying to hit these, you know, with the identical amount of power. This is the little pro. Obviously, I'm probably not. I'm probably fluctuating and things like that. But that's why I shot them so many times. Now, that doesn't count. If the QR comes straight back into the tip, that kind of negates the test, doesn't it? Oh, it's just, I'm just getting more with, with with this tip, which is the triangle tip. Surprised me a little bit, but I'm not gonna I'm, I'm gonna argue with it. If if I sat with one of those people that sat down and calculated all this out and did and made all these predictions and then predicted that the LePro was gonna give me better draw than the triangle, I had it written on my whiteboard. Therefore, it's official, right? And then I did this little test, and it turns out that the triangles gave me a little better draw. Okay. Guess what? If reality and theoretical scribblings and predictions don't match up, guess which one is correct? And I'll give you a guess, or give you a hint. It's not the theoretical scribblings. It's reality. Reality, reality is what wins. Probably, if I had all that stuff on the whiteboard that said the pro is going to do better, I just missed a variable somewhere. I probably didn't forget how to add 2 plus 2 or whatever it would be. I just missed a variable. But when I'm shooting, I don't need that. I don't need the variables. I just shoot their own balls. Just shoot them. 
So I'll oh, turn off on my remote. That's this little test. It wasn't much, and it's not that meaningful to me anymore because I'm pretty sure I've switched back to the Ultra Skin for my main claim setup. I, I, I was just curious. I've had some bad luck with the Pro Tips. And so I needed to change the tip anyway. And that's why I went back to the Ultra Skin on that guy. And then I put another, another little Pro on. But it did get me thinking, hey, I've got the Pro, I've got triangles. I like them both, except for the frayed edges. I think I talked about my, in a previous video, like the fuzzy edges I was getting. Um, I don't have that problem here because those aren't my tips. Those are the tips that the local billiard guy has. I just wanted to find out. I like them both. Is one of them better for me? At least as far as this little simple stroke test than another. And it really does look to me like right now, certainly on Sunday and a little bit on Wednesday, which is when I'm recording this, the triangle tip is better for me. Better for me. Will be the same results tomorrow? Don't know. Will be the same results Saturday? Don't know. Don't particularly care. But I, I, I wanted to get this done. I spent money on getting the tips and all that. And the shafts, and I may never use them. I may never use them as anything main because I got my Southwest. I, I'm starting to hammer. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, thank you.